The Ibert bike seat is a fun and bright little seat for short jaunts around the neighborhood. But while the popular Ibert is a trusted name with parents and outdoor enthusiasts, how does it compare to newer and lesser known front mounted seats? We've got three pros and three cons to share to help you decide if the Ibert is the right front mounted bike seat for you. Before we jump in, it's important to know that the Ibert brand is now under the Kazam brand umbrella. After the buyout, Kazam made some changes to the original Ibert seat. This video review is for the Ibert seat that was updated by Kazam in 2021. Starting with the pros. Number one, the Ibert fits on a wide variety of bikes and is more likely to fit on your bike than many other front-mounted child bike seats. Front-mounted bike seats are notorious for bike compatibility issues. While we did experience some fit issues with the Ibert compared to other seats, the Ibert offers a pretty good universal fit on most adult bikes. To fit on any bike, the Ibert needs three quarters of an inch of space on the headset or stem, the tube beneath the handlebars. This applies to both threaded stems found on most cruiser or city style bikes and threadless headsets found on most hybrid and mountain bikes. Many other front mounted seats require more space on the headset or often have mounting brackets that don't fit threadless headsets very well. Number two, the Ibert has a 38 pound weight capacity. Front mounted child bike seats usually max out at a 33 pound weight capacity. With a 38 pound weight capacity and a larger bucket style seat, your toddler has more room to grow with the Ibert. Number three, the Ibert is easy to install. The Ibert is very simple and easy to mount. The first step is to attach the black mounting bar to the headset via the two bolts just like this. It's a quick process. Once the mounting bar is securely attached to the bike, you attach the seat to the mounting bar by sliding the bar through three brackets on a mounting plate found on the bottom of the seat. A single locking pin is then inserted through the holes in the mounting bar, as well as the center bracket of the seat. And now the cons. While there are pros and cons to every product out there, the cons for the Ibert are a pretty compelling reason to look for a different child bike seat considering the price, unless one of the three pros we just mentioned really gets you excited. Number one con, the shoulder straps fall off easily. The shoulder straps are quite difficult to adjust correctly, and even once they are adjusted, they're notorious for sliding off kids' shoulders. One of the main reasons the straps slide off is due to the very low seat back of the Ibert. The straps have to go all the way up a child's back and over their shoulders before they reach the buckle on the front of the child. This long journey often leads to the straps falling or slipping down. Number two, no quick release. The Ibert is not considered to be a quick release seat. Quick release seats allow you to quickly remove the seat from the bike with a push of a button. With the Ibert, you have to remove the safety pin from the mounting bracket to get the seat off. But then you also have to remove the mounting bracket itself because it's so long. You don't want to get impaled while riding. For those who plan on regularly riding the same adult bike with and without the Ibert attached, this will be inconvenient. Number three, the overall quality of the seat doesn't make sense for the price. Based on our experience testing many other child bike seats, we would expect the Ibert to be about two thirds to half of the price that it retails for. At a lower price point, many of the quality shortcomings I'm about to mention wouldn't be as big of a deal. Starting with the connection. The connection is a bit rickety. Due to the play in between the mounting bracket on the base of the seat and the mounting bar, a properly mounted Ibert is pretty wobbly. The seat easily and often tilts back and forth with or without a child on board. While this is a bit unnerving and annoying, especially compared to other seats that mount firmly, the wobbling doesn't appear to be a safety risk. Next, the padded headrest doesn't really work. There's a steering wheel that comes with a pad designed for a sleepy child to rest their head during a ride, but our 15 month old tester quickly ripped the pad off within minutes of being in the seat. Additionally, the steering wheel flexes downward when any pressure is applied, so its usefulness is pretty limited for sleepy kids. The lap bar easily comes unsnapped. While the lap bar does snap into place, it easily and quickly unsnaps if the child puts any pressure on the circle steering wheel. Pretty quickly, our two-year-old tester learned how to unsnap the bar and even began lifting it up while riding. As a result, keep in mind that the lap bar is not designed to keep your child in place while in the seat. Properly tightening the straps is imperative for that purpose. Next, the highest footrest setting is too low. The Ibert's leg trays work as great support for little legs, but we found the foot trays and ankle strap to be harder to use than other brands. 
The foot tray also didn't go up high enough to be supportive for our 15-month-old tester. In its highest position, her foot couldn't reach the base of the footrest, which also made the ankle strap worthless. The foot strap was a good fit for our taller two-year-old tester. And last, the foot rest adjustments must unscrew to adjust. Other child bike seats have quick release or sliding foot trays that can be height adjusted in mere seconds. But the foot trays on the Ibert require removing and replacing four bolts to adjust the height of both trays. Considering how quickly kids grow, being able to quickly adjust the height for a proper fit is certainly a bonus that the Ibert doesn't have. So what's the bottom line on the Ibert safety seat? It's a cute and easy to use child bike seat for sure. But for the Ibert's retail price, it just doesn't measure up for us. If you can get it on sale, it could potentially be a really nice bang for your buck.